Maybe the only person unwilling to call Richard Fierro a hero is Richard Fierro. I didn't do anything special with him. I took care of my kids, I took care of my wife, I took care of my family, I took care of my friends. Richard went to Club Q that fateful Saturday night with his wife Jessica, their daughter Cassie, and Cassie's boyfriend Raymond Green Vance. We were having a great time. Then, shortly before midnight, the chaos began. As the crowd scattered from the shooter, Richard ran right for him. Your first instinct as you see him is to rush him, is to take him down. My daughter and my, 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 my whole family was in there. Who's not going to go save them? Or do what they can to stop somebody from hurting them? Having served 15 years in the Army, Richard says instinct took over. He slammed him to the ground. I hit him everywhere I could find. He had armor on. He may have had a helmet. He may not have had a helmet. I don't know. I know I found a, wet, a little wet, bloody spot, and I just kept going. If Richard had enacted, authorities say the loss of life would have been even more catastrophic. He was a hero way before this in my eyes. There could have been so many more bodies there. There could have been so many more injuries. Um, and there wasn't. Five people died that night, including Richard's daughter's boyfriend, Raymond. She did that scream, that guttural scream, and, and when she found out about Raymond, it was that guttural scream. And it was the worst thing I ever heard. This is my kid. Raymond's mother, Adriana, is heartbroken. He was very kind, and I used to call him my gentle giant. Is it settled in? No, I still, um, I, um, I still think he's going to walk in through the door. Why did that bullet went to him? That's, that's one of the biggest questions. Raymond's family describing the 22-year-old as the life of every room he walked into and the pain of reckoning with his death. I work in a restaurant, and one of the hostess came and says, he says, your husband called, and he said, it's an emergency. I said, oh, my God, what happened? So I called him, and he told me that Raymond was dead. <laughs> Tonight, immense grief and heartbreak that will last a lifetime. Walking past other bodies that were laying there, uh, it's, those, there's, those are things you won't be able to unsee. There's smells you won't be able to unsmell. And it was just horrifying. Steve joins us now from Colorado Springs. Heartbreaking uh, recollections of that day, Steve. Have investigators shared any more about the suspect tonight? Yeah, Lester, we know that 22-year-old suspect was released from the hospital today and transferred to a county jail where he's expected to make his first court appearance via video tomorrow, followed by multiple murder and possible hate crime charges as early as next week. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.